Anytime Micah gets a little bit ahead, I'm giving her a reminder to get back into position using some remote color guidance as you hear me say the word heel. But our first go-to always has to be the dog's mindset. So if she was getting excited, intense, um, all the things that precipitate reactivity, and she was also out of her heel position, the first thing I would do is address her mindset with a no and remote color guidance. Then once I've made sure her mind is calm again, then I'm going to address the dog's obedience position, her heel. So where I see a lot of folks going wrong is that they have an overexcited reactive dog and they're trying to focus on obedience. They're trying to focus on the dog's heel position, but the dog's mind is like right off the charts out of control. She's already reactive. When we have a dog with mindset issues, um, we need to first prioritize that dog's mind. And while we're doing that, I honestly don't really care about what the obedience is doing. I don't care if the dog is out of position. I can fix that later. The obedience part is easy. It's the mindset stuff that's super, super tough. So what we wanna do first is correct mental arousal, reactive intentions. I'm gonna let this guy pass. arousal and reactive intentions we need to correct that mindset get that dog calm down in her brain tune back into her handler and then after that if she's still out of position then we're gonna go ahead and fix the obedience component but you cannot fix reactivity aggression overexcitement mental arousal with obedience obedience has nothing to do with those things obedience is simply what is the dog doing with her body where is her body? Is it in a sit, a heel, a down, a recall? Mindset is how is the dog functioning, behaving? Where is she tuned in? What is she paying attention to? What is she thinking about? That is the stuff that really counts. Dog walkers out enjoying the day as well. 